as you can see we have the shiny has been applied now got the clear coat on last night so we're still in that first 24-hour window of curing so I'm not gonna be doing so gonna wait until I get to that 24-hour period or mark before I do any other work on the body but it's still it's cured, cured enough where we can uh, talk about it for a moment overall I think the clear coat went on really well uh, did a good job of the clear coat it turned out good uh, no real major issues to speak of uh, nothing nothing that needs to be you know stripped and start over again not that bad just some small tiny uh, debris spots here and there most likely air bubbles I think um, or something just tiny small three bits mostly in the a lot of in the, there's a few in the roof the roof got a little bit of orange peel too I need to fix that uh, the hood has some spots too so a fairly big one too um, so I can right about Right, about, right above my finger, there's a spot right there. You can see it right there. There's a spot there that I need to fix. That's kind of a big spot. I hope I can fix that. Get that out. But overall, the body turned out pretty good. Or the clear coat turned out pretty good. I'm really pleased with it. Um, again, nothing somewhat sanding can't, hopefully can't fix, or at least knock it down a little bit so it's not as noticeable. Then I think once I get all the wet sanding and stuff done, I need to come back and add that red stripe that went down the side. Although I do like it without it too, so I'm still kind of debating if I want to add that stripe or not. I like it both. It looks, I like how it looks both with and without. Then I can consider fixing my not so straight um, mask line here. So we'll see. So that is where the body is at. It is. It has been clear coated. Now it's time to make the Nissan decals. I'm going to use uh, Microsoft Word for this. It'll be really easy to do. It's just going to be a, just text. So first let's type out the word Nissan. Just remember we're doing, I need to make this right here, this Nissan decal right there is what I'm making. Just to refresh, highlight it, and I'm going over here and I'm going to pick the uh, Nissan font. And now let's enlarge it a little bit. I think uh, 22 might work. Yeah, I'm going to go 24. Copy that. Pick, oops. Um, looks about, it looks close. So that's pretty much it. There we go. Now I will get this printed out and we'll have some Nissan decals. And some progress has been made on the R32. I uh, got the trim painted last night. Didn't do any video of it. It was just getting some window trim painted. Wasn't all that exciting or entertaining. Would have been to watch. So I just went and get it. got it done real quick. So there we go. All the, all the window trim has been painted. And we can move on to now the next step. I also, well, I, just before I did the window trim, I wet sanded the uh, roof, deck lid, and bonnet to get those done. Not really, still not good at wet sanding and polishing and what have you. You can see some of my work on there. You can see it, it does not look all that great up there. It's fine. It will, it'll do um, the hood somewhere. Hood turned out in the hood. So, anyway, so that has been done. Now, one thing that happened, oh, you know, before I go forward, I, a little sneaky peeky at what else I'm working on. Working on the uh, Ford GT Le Mans kit. That is kind of where I'm at right now with it. So far, pretty, pretty good kit. It just needs a lot of cleanup, a lot of uh, mold and seam lines that need to be uh, attended to. Um, so that is what I am currently. The other thing I'm working on right now. So back to the niece to the uh, R32. Uh, when I was actually going back uh, da, 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 da. in one of the videos, you can actually see me doing it. When I was working on the body, I think it was when I was removing the uh, getting the body prepped, moving the mold and seam lines and what have you. I compressed the front part of the roof, pushed it down some. Uh, I'm surprised nothing broke then. When I was getting the doing the masking for the trim, the passenger side A pillar, 
a post broke snapped right about the roof line you can kind of see there's like a white spot right up in there that's kind of where it broke anyways it was a nice clean break it just broke off at the roof so it was uh, manageable so I went ahead and finished getting everything done got the uh, trim painted came back a little bit of little, little smallest drop of glue I could get out on there put it back in glued it back in place and it is good so it's holding should be okay no it, nothing to be concerned about right now so that is good uh, we'll take a look at the uh, here the decals that we made. Got them printed out on some clear decal paper. The next step now is to get them clear coated. Is if you anytime you make decals using an inkjet printer, you have to clear coat them, or the ink will run as soon as they hit water. So there is the decals. They sh and that'll kind of give you an idea. That's size wise. That's how it's going to look. Pretty close. I didn't do any. I didn't do any pre any any members I just guessed it all so that was a pretty good guess so that is the next step to get those clear coated I'm gonna have to think I'm gonna do that light that red stripe that goes down the side on the replica I think I'm gonna do that on this one as well so that'll be the next step too is to get the body mask to get that red striped painted so let's get to that and get that done I got the stripe painted on the sides got that done uh, yesterday I believe it was yes last night got it done not overly thrilled with how it turned out but it'll do it's all right so that is done uh, decals have been clear coated and they are ready to put on uh, I uh, tinted the windows you, uh, they used to add to me a smoke out of the can I never do a really good job of uh, tinting the windows I should just give up but I'm a stubborn SOB so keep on doing it but I always it just always just turns out bad just I don't know why I think I'm just impatient and using smoke it requires a little bit of a pa little bit of patience when you're using smoke at least on clear parts anyways I'm uh, moving forward uh, or moving forward looking uh, I got the lights done a while back one tip I want to pass along here is doing the on projector beams uh, projector beam headlights so this is the back side of the of the projector beam headlight pieces and you notice I put uh, I just went over it with a sharpie with the black sharpie and the reason being is if you look at a real projector beam headlight depending on which way you look at it it kind of will change colors change its look well obviously we can't replicate the different changing the colors but if you move these around and stuff too it will kind of mimic um, how projector beams look sometimes it's not perfect but it's better than just leaving them clear so that's my little tip here for you is to to hit the back side of the projector pieces with the black sharpie so those are the lights those are almost done and ready to get put on pretty much it everything is ready to go uh, headlights are done I'm not a big fan of how they turned out uh, my one, my one main gripe with the R32 kit from Tamiya is there's no chrome headlight pieces or anything here on your own to do that and we all know how modelers like how we, you know, our whole chrome thing and there's no really good chrome alternative the chrome pins are nice I need to get a smaller tip but anyways all right so I guess we can get some stuff done and get some pieces added to it um, I'm not sure where to start Guess maybe uh, get some get the tail light pieces put in. Let's get some of the. Uh, uh, all right, let's get the tail light. So let me. Clip them off of here. Let's get them glued in place. Come back. Ah, you're gonna stick in there. Yes, I'm going to use super glue on the clear parts. Not really a just a just a tad, just enough to 
So you don't need a whole lot, but yes, you can use super glue on clear parts. You just have to be very careful and just use very, 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 very little, little, little super glue, as little as possible. And realistically, you only get one shot at getting them. The other side. Tail light pieces are in place. 